up boys and girls, I'm Steph, you're you, it's time for the three minute review today looking at a very held up Harold and Kumar 3D Christmas. Six years have elapsed since Guantanamo Bay leaving Harold and Kumar strange from one another with very different families and friends and lives. But when Kumar arrives on Harold's doorstep during the holiday season with a mysterious package in hand, he inadvertently burns down Harold's father-in-law's beloved Christmas tree. To fix the problem, Harold and Kumar embark on a mission through New York City to find a perfect tree, once again stumbling into trouble at every single turn. The stories are not as sterile as some other offerings, such as the Hangover and American Pie series, but like the previous films, the aim seems not to deliver a compelling story but to place the characters in one compromising scene after another. That being said, there's nothing wrong with this as it provides entertaining moments and good giggles. Some of the set piece comedy and callbacks to previous films do invoke laugh out loud moments. However, there seems to be some emphasis on character drama in this instalment that doesn't really do it for me. Adding to the story are a number of franchise callbacks including to Neil Patrick Harrison who unsurprisingly elevates the film using gags about his sexuality and larger than life personality. Unfortunately, the Rosenberg and Goldstein scenes leave a lot to be desired and is another reminder that in the process of trying to grow up while trying to stay true to its roots, the film simply took on more than could be managed. As for the 3D effects, Harold and Kumar rarely makes worthwhile use of the format. After the first 15 minutes, for the remaining duration, this 3D seems to be reserved for party poppers and liquids firing at the audience. Anyone seeing the movie in 2D will undoubtedly be able to tell where there are 3D gags, but it's hard to see how the added 3D was worth the price in the film's costs. The film definitely offers some over the top laugh out loud moments for those wishing to avoid sappy titles such as New Year's Eve. But even with that said, the film falls short of being anywhere close to a holiday classic. It's hard to see this as anything special, but viewers that enjoyed the previous installments will likely find it something to be jolly about. That's that, please remember to comment and subscribe. I've been Steph, and you've been you. Thanks for watching the 3 Minute Review. Take it easy, guys.